I mean, if we're just saying like what I wish I could eat every day if calories didn't count as like chicken tenders. Taylor Swift answered 73 hard-hitting questions while giving Vogue a tour of her home. And lucky for Swifties, it was all filmed so you get to come along for the ride. Today's episode of Clever Newsfeed is brought to you by T-Mobile. With double the LTE coverage in the last year, you can know almost anything from almost anywhere. Ever wonder what Taylor Swift does with all of those Grammys or what she does when she's not singing? Well, we have Vogue to thank for the answers to those hard-hitting questions. Taylor recently covered the coveted pages of Vogue magazine, revealing her new platinum blonde hair. And in true Vogue fashion, they did an interview with Taylor where they asked her their signature 73 questions. And not only did she answer all 73 of them, but she did so while giving Vogue a tour of her home. When the interview was filmed, Taylor was prepping for this year's Grammys and revealed that those little golden record players are also her biggest accomplishment. What's one accomplishment you're most proud of? My Grammys. What's something you've always wanted to try, but you've been too scared to do? Oh, Coachella. What's your spirit animal? A dolphin, because they're very social. They travel in groups. Vogue was taken on a tour through Taylor's music writing room, her kitchen, her backyard, and of course, her living room, which to no one's surprise, was filled with an endless array of cat stuff. So this is a really great room you have. Thank and you. And you have a lot of cats. Yeah. How many cats are in this room? Um, probably more than 10, and I don't know if you're counting the one that's alive down there. What? There's a cat there. Taylor loves her some four-legged felines. Of course, we knew that already. But in the nine minutes tour, fans get to see how their idol lives life and also learn some things about her that you may not have known already. For example, girlfriend is a Scrabble fan who keeps one of her VMAs in her kitchen next to the coffee maker and must always, always have hummus in the fridge. Other big reveals also included that her favorite TV show is Friends, and if she could have any superpower, it would be to heal people. And if she wasn't singing, she would go into advertising writing slogans because she imagines that it's very similar to writing songs. She has double jointed elbows. Her favorite fashion trend is high-waisted everything, which of course we already knew. She dreams of raiding Blake Lively's closet, girl get in line. And her advice to anyone who dreams of being a singer is to get a good attorney. The bravest thing she's ever done was writing the Apple Music Letter and she really wants an honorary degree because her buddy Ed Sheeran has one and she wants to just be on his level. So to hear her answer more of these hard-hitting questions, you guys can watch the full interview on Vogue's YouTube channel. But what did you think so far of Taylor's 73 Questions interview and how about that? It's so awesome. Sound off in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe. And also click right here to check out what hair adventures Taylor went on at Coachella this past weekend. Thanks for hanging out. I'm Erin Robinson, and I'll see you next time. Click to the left to see Kylie's lip kit cracked open on Beauty Break, or click to the right to see which Selena Gomez music video was deemed the best of all on Debatable. Thanks again to T-Mobile for sponsoring this episode. Track what's trending wherever you go with double the LTE coverage.